and it it's it's giving somebody lied to her several times and told her that she was fly hot and sexy and beautiful and she's nothing like that she's nothing of the sort hey it's pinky and today i'm going to show you guys how i did this install this is the Salona wet lace the swiss lace and this is in the shade burgundy wine and y'all want to see how i got this stay tuned okay so here we are with the cloud nine swiss lace wig wet lace uh, in the shade burgundy wine and y'all see me with my braids and with the cap on the cap is not that's not how I was looking okay I'm doing the ball cap method but I just like to put the wig on my head just so I can see how it looks so I can start getting like ideas of what I'm gonna do while I'm customizing it and right now I'm just trying to detangle the wig and it wasn't that bad at all like there wasn't really any shedding so we just gonna go and put the powder on the lace you already know and then just spray down with the got to be going in with that houseables medical tape and i'm just gonna put that right on the lace like i messed up so it took me a while to try to get it situated and i was using all the pins ignore the background because we got construction going on but anyway so i'm just putting it on the lace so if you're new to my channel then you probably never saw the medical tape and probably wondering why i'm using it I'm just using it to hide the grids and I usually put it where the part is but at this point I don't even know which side I'm going to do the part. I ended up doing a middle part but I don't know that now. So yeah I'm just putting these on my lace. Y'all want to make sure that it stops right behind the hairline but I'm a little slow so I forgot to do that and then I ended up having to cut behind. That's not, I mean you can always just cut and this is how y'all see it went way over so i just had to comb the hairs that got stuck on the medical tape but it's going to happen because the stuff is super sticky so i just comb it back i mean no harm no foul pretty simple so after combing the hairs out of the way I just went ahead and I cut behind the excess that was way ahead of my hairline yeah so I just went ahead and I cut that off and here I am again just putting on the wig trying to figure out and I think I decided on doing the middle part at this point and yeah I'm just going to do that middle part I lost my rat tail comb like the really good one with the metal tail <sighs> it would have made it so much easier but yeah so that's all I'm doing right now I'm just parting my hair in the middle and so now I'm just going to make this part extra crisp and I'm just going to pluck away any extra hair that I have in the middle of my part. Just pluck it away as I go. Just pluck, pluck, pluck. That's it. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare too much. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist. So now that I got the part the way I want it to be, I'm just taking my hot comb and I'm just trying to flatten the top of it. And I have it on the medium setting. So my flat comb only has three settings because it's like the electric one. It's not one of the best ones because, you know, we on a budget. But so, yeah, I'm just flattening it as I go. I rather do it as much as I can while it's on a mannequin because when it gets on my head, it's a little too hot and... I'll be about to burn my scalp, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do it on a mannequin head. So surprisingly, the hairline was actually looking really good. I did not think it was going to look that good, but it's looking good before the plucking. So I'm just taking the got to be spray. I'm just spraying it uh, so that my part is still on the side. And I like to take it in the two sides of my head where the part is, where the hair is separating it. And I like to just mold it. I don't know what it's called, but y'all see me doing it. I know y'all be seeing like Arrogant Tay be doing it to people and like. So it's time to glue down the wig. And I didn't have any clips. I suggest having clips. So I'm just going to cut on both sides of my wig. 
So y'all see I have like three tabs. And I really don't know why I put the lace glue on my comb and then put on my head when I should have just dabbed it on my forehead. But I was being a little slow today. Anyway, so I'm just taking a lace glue and I'm just making sure that it's like smooth on my head, on my forehead. And I'm putting this, it's pretty far on my forehead. I mean, I have a pretty big forehead, so that's good. But I do not want to get any glue on my edges because I cannot afford to have my edges look like some of y'all. Not some of y'all, some of them. Okay, I can't afford to have my edges look like some of them. So we're not going to do that because I already cut off on my hair. I ain't going back. Okay, so in order for this to make sure that the glue dries, y'all see me smoothing it down with the end of my comb. And it dried, so I just put down another layer of this Ghost Bond glue. That's the type of glue I'm using, the Ghost Bond glue. And I'm just putting it down, making sure I get it everywhere. At this point, I realize, and I'm using a marker right now. Oh, Jesus. It was really ghetto, honestly. It was a lot going on today, so just please ignore me. Uh, now that everything is dry i'm just going to take the middle part of my hair pull it down to my forehead and i'm going to take my comb and start flattening it and like smearing it in so that the glue could set and like get all stuck on my lace it was already looking good i didn't pluck nothing so but yes yeah, so i'm just going to do the other sides to that and then I'm going to let it dry. So I ain't going to hold y'all. The lace was really itchy. It was scratching up my ear. And I just cut the ear tabs a little bit before I um, put on my elastic band. And I'm just making sure I get it really good before I put on anything to set it. So I highly, highly, highly recommend using an elastic band. I did not know what my elastic band was because as I said, it was just really ghetto. I was being really slow. I didn't know where nothing was. So I'm using like my little silk edge wrap for when I go to sleep to melt it. And it, it worked to an extent, but it would have been a lot better if I just had my elastic band. So I'm just going in with my um, eyebrow scissors and I'm just cutting the lace a little bit just pulling it up and then I'm cutting it so I'm trying my hardest to go into like zigzag motions but y'all see me pulling the lace back up on my forehead and then cutting it because the glue is going to make the lace get stuck to your forehead so regardless you have to pull it back a little bit it did not hurt so don't worry because I ain't had no hair there so we just going to do the ear tabs trying to make that a little bit more comfortable try to get rid of the excess Lace. So this is my attempt at doing my edges, um, my baby hairs and stuff. Uh, I'm not a big fan of baby hairs at all. I don't like having stuff on my forehead. So as y'all can see, y'all can probably still see a little bit of the lace, but that's okay because I got it melted again with my got to be. So right now I'm just pulling down some of my sides for my edges. You know, two on the right, two on the left. I don't want any in the middle. I'm just going to pull down that little area here. And I'm just going to pluck it. I'm going crazy. I'm trying to thin it out a bit so my edges and my baby hairs don't look too crazy. I don't want to look too thick. So, yeah, I'm just going to pluck it like crazy. And it gets a little thinner. I mean, I could have I could have went a little bit heavier with the plucking. And I did eventually later on in the week. I end up just plucking it. But, yeah, I just started going crazy with that. And also, when I pulled it down, I ended up going behind the baby hair onto my hairline to just, you know, make it look a little bit more natural. I'm going to take my eyebrow razor and I'm just going to cut my baby hairs. 
not as short as I'm going to leave it, but I like to keep it a little bit longer so that way I know how much I'm going to need, have a little extra room. And I'm just going to pluck my hairline. Um, as I said before, there's no real method to it. I just pick one little small area and I just pluck behind it. If y'all want to video me just doing like plucking the edges and customizing the hairline, then I can get more in depth with it. But it's nothing really to it. Just took some edge control and I'm just going to swoop these baby hairs to the back. I hope these baby hairs don't look too bad because I was like, at one point, they just was giving adult hairs. And mm, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. So, yeah, I'm not using a lot of edge control neither. Honestly, this hair was pretty good. Um, it was cooperating. So that wasn't that wasn't too bad. Okay, so I'm just going to take my got to be glue spray and use the elastic band. Let your edges set. And that was it. So it took like 15 minutes just to let that happen. And as y'all see, I'm about to go in with the hot comb because the right side is hot. I don't know why it's so hot. But I'm just going to pluck a little bit and then I'm going to have to go in with the hot comb if y'all wondering why it looks so hot. So yeah, I'm just gonna pluck my hair, just make sure I get the rest of them out the way. And y'all can see I got some glue on my forehead. That's fine, cause then I'm going to use like some alcohol to get that all, but it was kind of annoying for a while. So I'm just trying to make sure I get my um, hairline looking the way that I want it to. And y'all, the right side of my head was looking real helmety. So I definitely had to go in with the hot comb, cause I don't, it was not giving. I don't know what was happening, but it was not trying to lay flat. I had to end up going back in the next morning with the hot comb on that same side because it was just not cooperating. I don't know what was going on, but it was giving Ron stoppable on that scooter bike. So we had to just lay that down. It's the color. It's the style. This is like a 70s style type of wig. Like, y'all see the layers? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Everything I use is below in the description box. Thanks, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next, and I will be posting a new video every Saturday.